Hello all. In this video, I'll be showing you a simple technique to bypass antivirus systems. I'll be bypassing both heuristic as well as signature based detection in this video. For uh, the shell code, I'll be using a very well detected shell code that is Windows Shell Reverse TCP. And uh, I'll be invoking this shell code by using msfnm command. I'll be listening on port 80 on my Kali machine whose IP is 192.168.223.128 I'll be generating this shell code in the C format now this command basically generates the shell code in C format and wow it has generated this shell code for us I'll quickly copy this shell code and I will paste it into a simple C template that I have written so uh, the shell code goes here now uh, the program is very simple uh, the shell code goes inside the character variable code and the main function basically executes this code variable so I'll quickly compile this well, the compilation has been done without any errors and warnings we have our file generated here I'll quickly copy this into our victim machine so the victim machine is going to have the quick heal total security installed as you can see the virus database is up to date that is 10th of October 2016 which is the date of uh, making this video uh, as you can see all the protections uh, that is firewall uh, malware phishing and whatnot has been on the sandbox is on I'll quickly scan this file to see if any signatures are being detected by quickheal so the quickheal doesn't detect this file so what we see here is we have bypassed the signature based detection so now uh, to see if we have successfully bypassed the heuristic detection we are going to actually execute the file and before we do that I am going to use netcat listener on my Kali machine so netcat is basically going to listen on port 80 for any connections uh, trying to connect to my Kali host uh, so I quickly run this file and see on the Kali machine if I receive any connections so it takes about a few seconds since I am running uh, two VMs in my workstation so it takes some time to connect back and voila so we have received a connection from a host whose IP is 192.168.223.135 now I'll quickly verify this by checking if this is the IP of my windows machine and yes correct so as you can see here the IP of windows machine is 192.168.223.135 let's see what all we can do I'll simply put a command that opens calculator and notepad programs installed in windows I'll also create a directory called hacked and yes we have the calculator open we have the notepad open and yes we have a directory created hacked uh, so once an attacker gets shell access to your machine it's pretty much uh, whatever you can do you want and I would have used uh, metaprinter shell code uh, but that shell code is a very large in size in C format and would have made this video to be complex uh, to be demonstrated so I have chosen a very simple shell code now a point to be noted here is that uh, this is only for educational purposes and not to uh, motivate malware coders and writers uh, this video is uh, not to show that a product is bad or good but uh, this is to demonstrate how uh, small weaknesses uh, can be used to bypass this antivirus solutions please post your doubts and uh, suggestions in the comments and thank you for watching this video